Increasing the strength of your ladies. Big, strong girls. What do we need to get them? Well, today, guys, we're talking about silica. Silica's got some untapped potential. A lot of people consider it the secret to maximizing your growth and quality. Now, in the complex matrix of cultivation, each element contributes to the final yield and quality of your harvest. Everyone knows nitrogen, potassium, phosphorus, but silica is also an important one, Perfect. along with a bunch of others. And silica is actually one of the most frequently overlooked components of your garden, even though it has the potential to redefine your entire garden. So whether you're a commercial grower or a hobbyist or just a home grower like me, understanding the role of silica can literally open new avenues to maximizing both growth and quality. So today's episode, we're going to break down what this super ingredient is and how you guys can use it because I ain't talking about these little packs that you guys got in your old shoe boxes and stuff like that. Now before we get into it, we've got to shout out I Can Veg Pack and Flower Power, man. I Can Organics is one of the best ways to feed your plants organically to get some really nice tasty flour without having to do a whole lot. The Veg Pack has some really nice organic amendments like seabird guano, shrimp shell and crab shell, poultry manure, soybean oil, a whole lot more. And the Flower Pack has a bunch of endomycorrhizae and a bunch of beneficial bacteria that'll help push your plants through flour. Now I love to partner that up with Recharge because Recharge really gives my plants a microbial boost and the discount code ICANTHC works in all these things and these three things will get your garden going real nice. And if you're looking for fire genetics, the ICANN VIP Bean Club got you guys covered. Like I said, Patreon took down the old page so make sure you guys join up to the new page so you guys are in for the next drop. And before I forget, there's a secret giveaway going on right now. Link is in the description below. I won't say too much more so let's get into today's episode. Yes guys, now the different types of silica products on the market that you guys can use. I'm not talking about these, I'm talking more about silica that actually works for your plants. Now what exactly is silica and why does it matter? Well it's far from just a soil amendment although you can find it in different types of amendments for soil but its roles range from enhancing plant structure to boosting resilience against environmental stresses, diseases and stuff like that. Now this flexibility actually sets the stage for optimized cultivation as it impacts every stage of your plant's life cycle whether it's a seedling, whether you're in veg or whether you're in flower. Silica in its various forms is a crucial component of the earth's crust and abundance in nature, so it's pretty much everywhere. In the context of home gardening, it often comes in the form of silicon dioxide, SiO2, which is commonly found in soils. Now while your plants don't actually require silica for survival, like if they don't get large amounts they won't die or anything, but they will benefit greatly from its presence. Now when you actually incorporate silica into your regimen, it works on multiple fronts. It strengthens your cell walls, that leads to a sturdier plant capable of capable of supporting more bigger flowers or bigger flowers you get Stupid. what i'm saying but we've all had those situations where you're in flower and your pants just topple over because those buds are too big and heavy and they just can't support it a lot of times in those situations you may get some of that rhino stalk or rhino skin or whatever that nutrient fertilizer is but that's pretty much silica so that silica really strengthens your cell walls and leads to a sturdier plant but it doesn't stop there because it also increases nutrient uptake. That makes each stage of growth a lot more efficient. Think of it this way. When your plants actually absorb silica, they become more efficient at absorbing essential nutrients like calcium and magnesium. And that increased nutrient uptake literally translates to heavier and more vigorous growth. So your plants grow from about 50% to about 75% max potential. Oh, okay. And like I mentioned earlier, silica also acts as a natural defense mechanism for your ladies. It literally forms a protective barrier and that deters pests like aphids and mites and stuff like that and that barrier reduces the plant's susceptibility to diseases as it provides a buffer against those pathogens. So on your plant's cell wall it'll actually create a layer over that which protects your ladies. It's like a protective film or like a screen for your iPhone. Perfect. So while some people do know that silica increases your plant's strength and builds those cell walls, some people aren't actually aware that it actually increases your defenses against pests. It basically forms a shield against those infestations. Got a nice shield, right? Now silica's influence on pest resistance also extends to fungal infections as well. It becomes even more difficult for fungi to invade the plant tissues. Now this is especially important during the flowering stage when the plants are most vulnerable to mold and mildew. And that could wipe out all the hard work without you even getting to sample it. Now I can hear a lot of people asking, well how do I incorporate the silica into my setup? Well there are a lot of different ways. You can use a soil amendment, that's probably the most common way. A lot of people just use it as a soil amendment and add silica rich substances into the growing medium. St stuff like diatomaceous earth or potassium silicate. These things really have a lot of nice silica mouse in it and they become available to your plants as they grow. Now, you can also use foliar sprays. Foliar sprays are another effective method of getting that silica applied to your ladies. Diluted silica solutions spray directly 
directly onto the plant's leaves. That method ensures rapid absorption and can be used in hydroponic systems where there's no soil for the plants to draw that silica from. But if you're running your DWC systems and for all you hydro growers out there, integrating silica into the nutrient solution is definitely a convenient approach and it allows for precise control over your silica levels. So that makes sure your plants receive an adequate supply throughout the entire growth cycle. I can hear some of you guys saying, Matt, is it only about getting bigger, stronger ladies? Is it only about pest reduction and pest prevention? But truth is guys, it's not just about yield and strength of your ladies. It's also about the quality. There are studies out there that say using silica can enhance trichome production and improve terpene profiles. It's literally a game changer in producing top tier flowers. So this secret ingredient can take your harvest from down here to up here. Now think of it this way, trichome production. Trichomes are the most resinous glands on the plants and those are responsible for producing all the cannabinoids and terpenes and all that good stuff. And what silica does is actually enhances that trichome production, leading to an increase in resin production and that contributes to the final potency of your final product just being a whole lot more tasty and nice. Perfect. And in yesterday's episode, we actually spoke to you guys a lot about terps and percentages. And in that episode, we broke down the importance of terps and the terpene profiles. Now, terps are actually the aromatic compounds that give your plants a nice smell and flavor. Silica has been found to positively influence terpene production, resulting in flowers with more robust and more complex scent profiles. Now, for the most part, that can greatly enhance the overall sensory experience of your sessions. So all that said, the depth and scope of silica's impact on plant growth and quality make it an indispensable tool for anyone. The role of silica is often overlooked, but it's constantly evolving. Whether you're aiming for larger yields, improved plant resilience, or enhanced terpene profiles, silica is definitely a versatile and dynamic asset that you guys need to use. Keep it in your toolbox, guys. And don't forget the I Can Veg Pack and Flower Power and that Recharge are also stuff that you guys need to have in that toolbox. And discount code I Can THC will snag you guys a discount on all these stuff. So drop it in the comments down below and let me know if you guys use silica. How do you use it? When do you use it? How often do you use it? What types of silica do you use? Or are you just not interested in using it at all? Drop it down below and let me know. I'm always interested to find out what you guys got to say. Don't forget to join up with the I Can VIP Bean Club. The Bean Club is popping and next drop is going to be fire. I want to make sure you guys are in for the next drop because the last page got taken down and I lost you guys info so make sure to join back up and if you guys want to find out more about growing that fire then definitely check out any episode on screen right now and we'll see you guys in the next one peace fam